yeah so i was just asking that uh, like dna do you people also have the opportunity to take like ras or become ras uh, in your course um that's not uh that's not an option for us until all this it's the summer vacations and we are off our ta ship so as long as you are um uh, being funded by uh the university ta ship is the only thing that you have to take ra ship is something that you can do during the summers if there is a vacancy and if your cv matches with the requirements that have been posted um on the department website so ra ship okay. is something extra okay yeah. and how do people manage uh, say in foreign countries and western countries because uh, um, okay let me ask uh, for the uh, for my viewers as well that is the ta ship or the amount of money which you are receiving mm -hmm. uh, as ta is it good enough to uh, manage this stuff over there or do you still need to do something more in order to support I think they pay they pay decently. I wouldn't say that um it's enough for you to have a good life. Um mm -hmm. uh, but you can you can live without worries, I would say. Difficult to travel. I mean, you can't travel and you can't save at the same time. So you just have to be very frugal. You have to think about whether you really need something or not you have to think two three times before you actually make a purchase but then you also have certain other opportunities to earn right apart from your education i mean i would basically take tutorials for other students there are many students who suddenly just start dropping emails because they have an assignment submission due in a couple of days and they want some help with the assignment because they're not very confident about approaching the topic all by themselves so i charge around 40 dollars an hour uh because if you charge anything above that people are unwilling to pay until unless it's something that needs to be submitted in the next 24 hours then of course you can leverage a greater amount but then also you have competition with your peers right the mail goes to everybody in the department there are people who are tutoring at the rate of maybe 10 or 12 mm -hmm. uh you know an hour which is which is very reasonable i would say unreasonably reasonable compared to the amount of money that i ask <laughs> per hour yeah <laughs> i mean i'm okay if i miss out students because i don't want to sell my labor cheap mm -hmm. so i do that and then on the side sometimes um I have other students who are not really students of the university but they want to get into university or they're applying for a masters or something so they want me to help me I mean they want me to help them out with their SOPs so that's where I basically charge a lot I charge yeah, like SOPs are always going to be very expensive because they yeah. see again that's the key game yeah the game change as well yeah Uh, and how about CVs? Were there also people approaching for like to try to make my CV better? I mean, CV you really can't make it better unless you start lying, of course. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, how else are you going to make it better? Are you going to use Adobe uh, Illustrator or something? I mean, you can do some fancy stuff, but that's you can just about do it. Do some fancy stuff, make it beautiful by using LaTeX. That's yeah. all. But it will not actually. <laughs> help you out with uh, say um the stuff inside right it, yeah so i mean changes, yeah. either you lie or you don't and mm -hmm. i yeah. i don't want to be trapped in some scenario where i'm lying for another person <laughs> so i wouldn't take up those those jobs yeah mm -hmm.